made it to the airport in one piece. Very exciting week today. I'm at JFK flying to London. Okay, let's start from the start, wherever that is. I have been keeping this secret for like over a month and a half. Turns out that little old me has been plucked out of social media, internet obscurity, and is being flown to London by the one and only Burberry. The first day though is actually pretty much all to myself, so who knows, we might meet some people, do some fun stuff while I'm in London, and I suppose we're gonna find out. I think that's us. So when I found out I was gonna do business class, I was kinda like, okay, do I play this off cool? Like this is the norm and you know, I'm gonna try and keep it together, but just know that I am freaking out inside. I guess I'll be seeing you guys in London. I think that's me. <laughs> <laughs> So my room wasn't quite ready yet, but I did go and freshen up at the hotel and get a coffee, breakfast, all things like that. But I'm down by St. Paul's Cathedral. I'm actually meeting a YouTube friend. Her name is Eva in the city here on YouTube. You may or may not know her. Um, she kind of started off doing like luxury reviews and then she started doing more like travel vlogs and she's into like doing the same stuff as me on trips. I've already mentioned your YouTube channel oh, already, you. but I leave it down in the description below. She does loads of London videos, so if you want ideas for things to do, this is your girl. Thanks, though. <laughs> so I just said goodbye to Eva. I know I didn't give her a chance to talk much, but <laughs> she was really great. We're totally on the same wavelength as people. So yeah, I'm really enjoying just walking around this area. Like I said, I'm at the Ned, which is actually this hotel right here. I think it's only a year old. Get ready to have your minds blown by this Gatsby-esque hotel. Whee! There's like a band that plays there in the evening. It's literally the dream. I have my foot has not even left the front door. I've just looked around. This is my first few seconds in here. If I wasn't dying on the flight, I am sure as hell deceased now. Here's my little entryway. I'm guessing this is my wardrobe. <gasps> I've got a princess room. <sighs> Literally, this is like old world amazingness. Can we just can we just have a moment for the tub in my room? Yep, next to the TV. My bags were brought up, so thank you very much to the Ned for that. Yeah, oh my god, I feel like magnificent. Breathe, Tara. Contain yourself. So all of the trims are like this blush pink and gold, which I'm absolutely in love with. This is my bath. Got a double sink. Hello, jet lagged head. Honestly, I cannot, you guys. This place is like three times as big as my New York City apartment. Like, what? Oh my word. What is this? Oh my God, you guys. There's like this gigantic bag, this beautiful note. Oh, I'm afraid to open it in case I faint and somebody finds me here next week. So I just got back from our first sort of group dinner and this bag was, as you saw, waiting here for me. If any of you are wondering what the true epitome of luxury is, it's having a lemon covered in a mesh net to stop the pips from ruining your meal. Just out here living, living that kind of life. Great British Bake Off and fish and chips. Can't get more British than that. I know you guys are probably very curious to see what is in that beautiful bag over there. And trust me, I am too, but I'm gonna be patient. And I thought that it would be really nice to just look forward to open it in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. Court House, which was actually the venue for the Burberry show this year. So we're going to get a personalized tour with the Burberry team and I got some of my girls here. We're just waiting on everyone else.
having a moment to myself here with these beautiful fabrics. You guys know I'm a fabric and texture nut, so I'm kind of, I'm, I'm in my happy place, guys. I'm in my happy place. And the pictures that inspire the collection are absolutely incredible. I've got one question, when can I move in? Find the tour, TJ. Loved it. Loved it. It's so good. About this place, <laughs> the space, the clothing, everything. Just arrived at the bravery store with a guy. Oh my god, we're just checking out the current collection. So beautiful. Look at the colors! Okay, I think we're ready. Time to see what is in this bad boy. I think you guys can probably guess what it might be or what kind of product it might be, but I think it's, um, well, I'll explain once I get it out of here very carefully. Uh, it is a tote bag from the current collection. Very, very Burberry, as you can see the classic check print the cool thing about this bag is it's actually reversible well to me it looks like a reversible bag because they have the same logo engraving it's just got a yellow trim line on the inside but a slightly different print so thank you so much Burberry I'm sure this will come in handy on like trips I feel like for me I would probably use that bag as like a weekend trip bag when I just want to take some extra stuff with me but I don't necessarily want to take like luggage or anything like that next thing I'm going to open which I have absolutely no clue what it is Oh my word, what is all of this? This is a lot. I've been dying to try more of the Burberry products out and I was actually really hoping that they would give me with some makeup. I'll just open one for you guys or maybe some of the other products. So I'm guessing, ooh, okay, this is totally me. A nice like smoky eye palette. This is called Slate Blue, I'm dying. So this is their Fresh Glow Primer. Yeah, Fresh Grow Luminous Fluid Base. How incredible is that? Also, I was laughing. This was the one box that I was gonna cheat on and just have like a sneak peek in last night because I just, oh, I wanted to open something so badly, but it had this beautiful seal sticker on it and I was like, okay, maybe I'll just go to bed. <laughs> oh, so this is my actually my second guess. These are Burberry fragrances and they look so nice. This one is called My Burberry Blush. Oh, this is a girly one for sure. Fruity, floral. You can kind of tell by the bottle. The bottle represents how it smells really, really well. Oh, I just noticed the shell is like a tortoise shell effect. So gorge. <gasps> no, it's a candle. A Burberry candle, you guys. Oh. Oh, this one is called Black Amber, which is actually perfect because Amber was what my mom was going to call me instead of Tara. So Amber is always like a name that's quite close to my heart. So I've got a black Amber candle from Burberry. How appropriate, like, it's me, right? It's like a very deep, sweet scent. It's like a sophisticated sweet. It's definitely less girly than this. This is a more subdued, like sophisticated sweet which I love. It kind of reminds me of vanilla, but I know there's probably not vanilla in here, if that makes any sense to you guys. I am the most spoiled girl right now, honestly. This has been the dream press trip, honestly. And I'm genuinely excited to find out more and use these products and see how I get on with them because the brand has given us complete control over the content we create. I've not been asked once to do anything specifically for this trip. I was literally invited. I was not at all told what to do, when to do it, what kind of content to create. So I'm a happy gal. I will never stop being grateful for opportunities like this and obviously it's all because of you guys and I will never get used to this either so 
I'm really, really happy that I'm getting treated and I hope that you guys are enjoying kind of jumping on the bandwagon with me. And they're just the nicest and I've gotten on with everyone so far. So I'm really happy to be in with a really awesome crowd and we're all so different and we all make content in such a different way also. So it's been quite an interesting experience. It's a nice, small, intimate group, which is also super nice. And yeah, we're just gonna be having dinner with them tonight. So I think I'll probably end the vlog for today here because we're literally just going for dinner and uh, there's gonna be another dinner tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna vlog that one because that's like the fancy dinner out of all the nights. I mean, all the nights have been fancy, but tomorrow's the fanciest. That's what I'm gonna get dressed up at and really do my makeup and all of that kind of stuff. So tonight I'm probably just gonna top up my lipstick and maybe put some eyeliner on. That's pretty much it. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. my very hoarse voice welcomes you to day three. Well, I mean, it's day three for me, but technically it's kind of day two of activities with Burberry, because obviously the first day we took a very chill, we just had dinner, and then yesterday we had activities, today we have activities. Also apologize, I know the footage is a little bit flickery. Just certain lighting kind of does that to my camera. Just got down to our first spa day. TJ's already started. I'm not getting my nails done, I'm just getting a pedicure. But it's so cool down here, like so retro feeling or something. Like you got all this sort of vintage almost furniture. So I am in our little suite here and I am with a very special person, Wendy Rowe, Hi. who is the artistic makeup artist for Burberry, is going to be working her magic on me a little bit. So we're gonna, I'm, I pretty much it was just like you, free reign, free reign. So I can do anything Yeah, I and I love the Burberry look. It's mm. very me, you guys know the kind of makeup I'm into. So I, I'm not scared at all. I totally trust <laughs> you, I totally trust you. So I'm gonna set you guys up and I'll see you guys in a minute. just done with my classic Burberry look and I look so fresh and so glowy I love it you wouldn't know that I was jet lagged at yeah. all <laughs> I feel amazing I can't wait to like recreate this for you guys like tomorrow with some of the products that I got so Wendy who has created my look is gonna tell me a little bit about sort of how they decided on the look for the runway show this year like what was the inspiration behind that well what we, did you want to go we for? kind of wanted it a little bit more modern mm -hmm. i mean i've given you a little bit more of a glow but yeah. it was probably more matte mm -hmm. this season um just because we wanted to use um like uh powder foundations but in a different way so we used it with a brush and we made sure the skin was really perfect mm -hmm. we done all the contour beforehand mm -hmm. so when you use the powder it was more matte mm -hmm. but you couldn't see where things started and finished so it's like you see this yeah like you mm -hmm. see the contour here and we'd contour the eye slightly but it's all underneath mm -hmm. so yeah it's a little bit more modern yeah i think so and it's what i love about Burberry makeup is the classic look is very tonal and Wendy's actually created that exact look that I really wanted to create on me, so I'm like super happy about it. But you were telling me the the new contour sticks. Yeah. Like, they're like some supermodels out there, like Wendy's been using it on them for years and it was like a secret product. Yeah. And now finally we get to like share it with the world and like who who really oh, loves it. Right, so I mean mm. when we first designed the contour, uh, the mm. contour pen, um, I used to use it on Cara all the time and she was like, 
can you give me one of them? And I, of course I couldn't because yeah. it, was, you know, it was kind of Production developing. Production yeah. development, yeah. And, you know, and things take so long to, before they, you can actually buy them. And she was like, now for years I've been asking you for this, Wendy. Please, can you give me one? In the end I did give one. I was like, please don't show anyone because they're going to go crazy. Yeah. Um, so that was quite funny. And then obviously I do see a mirror a lot. Mm -hmm. And she loved the contour pen. And she put it around her lip line, which made the lips pop out. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, mm, I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but actually, she, it was really she good. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She interpreted yeah. The products, and then yeah. so we made some lip contours, and that's what you've got mm -hmm. on. And I put also the lip contour on on your on eye, the eye, which I think. And is you amazing. could also put it a little bit on the cheeks. So that's kind of a multi-purpose thing. And you know? I think that kind of easy everyday makeup, when you can use one product for multiple yeah. things, it's just you get better value for money, and also creates this like very cohesive look where everything sort of matches but not intentionally yeah like you kind of get a different look with the one product but still it's like you know it's all going to flow together yeah and it's soft yeah and, you know, there's soft. no seams mm -hmm. and you know and it's really easy to mm -hmm. recreate because that's what we do we make products for everybody yeah we got our own personalized monogrammed makeup bags i cannot even like the detail in this is incredible Okay, so my room's a total mess, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the H&M red trouser, my trusty H&M, oh no, ASOS heels, which have been doing me really good on this trip, really versatile um, shoes, and then just the leather jackets, the only jacket I brought with me back to Europe, and then the embellished top, which I also got in H&M with a little bit of a triangle bra from weekday. It's really, really old, but yeah, I've got a little bit of gel in my hair, slicked back, smoky eye, red lip, and now I'm late, so I'll see you guys at the dinner, hopefully. than I thought. That's what happens when you do your makeup in a really dimly lit room. But yeah, I am just in from the most fabulous dinner. I'm actually really sad that it was the last one. And the girls from Burberry, like every single one of them were so down to earth, so nice. Had the, It was like having dinner with friends and I couldn't have asked for more than that because I hate feeling awkward or insignificant at some of these events sometimes and you feel like, oh, I don't belong here. But everyone made me feel so comfortable. I am actually gonna show you guys my favorite gifts from the trip. Yes, plural, I know, I'm so undeserving, but at the same time, it's nice when people like your work, I guess, and they like what you do and they see something in you uh, to make them feel like you deserve this stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten a lot of beautiful gifts, but my favorite ones, I'm definitely, you can guess I'm a sucker for it, but monogramming. And this was the, my Burberry blush fragrance, which I've already been really enjoying. Like genuinely, I go for fruity, floral, fresh. This is that for me, but it's still quite soft and sophisticated. So yeah, I love anything like that. And this one, I didn't notice till today that it has a monogram on the bottom can you see the tm near the bottom of the bottle that's been like etched into the glass like such a nice nice touch and then obviously you would have seen earlier in the vlog i have my makeup bag with the kind of military gold tm embroidery on it and gorgeous of course but at dinner they gave us this which i like i said i probably gave you maybe i didn't give you a snippet who knows how i'll edit this but they gave us something that's timeless and that we're gonna remember this event by for a really, really long time. And it's this. How beautiful. Like, I haven't even told you what it is yet, but can you already not stop staring at it? Or is that just me? Because I stared into its eyes like I was just in love right away. Love at first sight. But it is a Burberry brooch. And if you pay attention really closely to some of the footage, this was a kind of a design feature on a lot of the garments but just in different shapes they had these really um highly embellished almost abstract kind of floral designs with really nice big stones but in all different like shapes sometimes it was like down in the sweatshirts and really like as a big detail but this is in like a safety pin brooch 
and you can literally put it on any coat any garment just to give it something extra like how amazing would this look on a check blazer just to give it a little bit something extra to every the one that everyone's wearing or like one of your old winter coats and just spruce it up it's the kind of thing i think a lot of people would ask questions like where you got it so that's really really nice that we have something sort of indispensable that we'll never use up that we'll just keep this was completely different this was like a three-day event we were brought to dinner we learned about the products we had one-on-one -on -one sessions with the likes of wendy Rowe. we weren't just all brought into a room we got to have our own individual experiences that just went at a lovely pace it wasn't all about burberry it was about us having an enjoyable experience and um getting to know the burberry team and they invested so much time in being with us and God love those girls are probably exhausted from us rambling on all the time. Um, but they did an absolutely amazing job. I could talk about how how well they did everything all day because I was amazed. You know, I have a lot of friends in PR and over the seven years, I've been to quite a number of press events and this was, I, it's actually an insult to call it a press event. It was like an experience of a lifetime to stay in this beautiful hotel and play with these beautiful products. Yes, I'm going to chill now because I'm back on the plane tomorrow, heading straight back to Ireland for another exciting week. Actually, the rest of my September is super, super exciting. And this was like sort of kickoff to it all. And um, so a lot more exciting news to come. So do subscribe to stay in tune with my life. So thank you all so much for watching. And again, a big thank you to Burberry. If I already haven't made myself pretty clear about how much I've enjoyed this experience. Uh, but I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Mwah.